Another common functionality in forms is to provide a way to reset the form to its initial state. In the case of this order sheet form, a reset would involve resetting all the controls to their default state. I already have a method that builds the form and includes the default states. So back in the code, I can add a public method in the order sheet component class named onClearForm that I will be able to wire up in the template to the reset button. And in that method, I can simply call this.buildForm. This will recreate the control group object that the order sheet form property is referencing. However, Angular currently can't distinguish between replacing the model or clearing controls, so it ends up leaving the form in its current state, which means for the time being, you need to do a small trick to get the form to reset. This involves adding a property on the component class. I'll name this form active and set it to a Boolean value of true. And then in the onClearForm method, after the call to build form, I will set this form active to false and follow that up with a call to set timeout, passing it a function in which I will set this.formActive to true and set the time to zero milliseconds. In the next video, when I cover wiring up the form model in the template, I will make use of this form active property in an ngif on the form, which will cause Angular to quickly remove and recreate the form element as this property toggles, and that will get the form back into this pristine state. Now it would be more ideal if there was a function on the control group to reset all its children to default, but Angular doesn't provide that as of yet, so you need to do some kind of workaround for the time being. So this works for this current case of a sandwich order sheet where the form just deals with default values. But if this were a form to edit a record, you would need to think about the fact that you would not only want to rebuild the control group for the form, but would also want to reapply a component input value or call a service to get the record data, and then do the update value calls on the controls to set their initial values.